Mega Man. Yeah, I looked up earlier he, in winner's quarters and he was using uh, Snake. I was yeah. like, yo, well, I was not expecting that. This I is definitely think he should go Snake versus Nico. Nico is like still struggling to figure out the matchup with Shulk. Funny, funny enough, I was talking to Razo earlier and he just told me like I picked up Snake and I was like, is, it, is there any reason? He's like, yeah, Shulk. Yeah. He said he said Snake is Shulk's worst matchup. So w let's see if that's the case here. He is gonna pick Snake. He has Larry's tag. I don't know if that's gonna affect him. No, he's, he's gonna change he's, it. He's, right, cool. he's, he's got to be MVG Scat. Yeah, I really want to see. Uh, Nico did, did say that he's slowly starting to figure out this matchup though, and he's uh, gotten better than before. But he did just recently have that 3-0 loss to MVD uh, just yesterday. Very true. Yeah. So I didn't actually get to watch that set. What were some of the things that really make this matchup a tough one for Shulk? There's just a lot of situations where you trade with snake grenades, and then I think his forward air Ooh. doesn't actually consistently hit him out of cypher, especially if it's okay. scale. Wow. <laughs> but, uh, Nico putting on a yeah, show. Nico's putting on tons of pressure. He knows that once snake is in disadvantage, you have to capitalize as hard as possible. So yeah. that's what he's trying to do. But uh, Scott's starting to get set up now, and that's Ooh. not what you want. Yeah, uh, personally, I think this is a pretty, like, solid stage for Snake as well. He oh, does yeah, have a I lot of solid Snake stages, but, like, solid stages for solid Snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely think there's very few stages where I, personally, as a Snake player, like, just completely feel uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah any, oh. Anything with a pr platform is going to be good for him. But yep. Nico getting that down air, 116%, though. He's going to switch to Shield Monado. Immediately switching out of it as well. He's not really in danger of losing this stock unless he gets up tilted. Or maybe uh, C4 too. <laughs> Definitely C4. Yeah, but Nico's playing carefully. He's got the jump. What's he going to do here to get past the ledge? Oh, oh my, my goodness, God, so shield. much pressure. Yeah, and he didn't get the shield break, but the forward tilt was there to cover the drop. Yeah. And uh, Scott's that's gonna uh, take a very strong at ledge, trapping with these projectiles and it, like up smashes. Yeah, you can see he's consistently actually uh, like tossing a grenade upward while also doing the double up smash technique where he will do one up smash and then charge up the second one so that they fall at uh, varying intervals. Yes. So it's it very, makes it really hard to get up forced, off the ledge. You're forced to do something. Yeah. And that's where he punishes you for it. It's a very difficult setup to get past. Okay, just going to send him off stage. Goes high here, no yeah. air dodge. So he's yeah. going to eat the free up tilt. Bad trade for Nigo, but he's sending him off stage. Oh, nice beer burst, but still getting hit by the back air. Let's see if Nigo can get the edge guard here. Nice, nice back air. That was like his best choice of aerial to hit him out of the cipher. And really good patience overall. Like Nigo has gotten a lot of practice in this matchup lately, either versus like Key in uh, his region of SoCal. Yeah. And uh, recently going up against MVD Snake and uh, Salem too, I believe. Okay. Okay. The Damn. shield pressure. Woo! Woo! You're forced to do something, man. You can't hold shield against that, that. That was crazy. And it all started with the Nikita because if you saw, he set up the Nikita, shot it straight yes. up. When he canceled it, he threw out two up smashes. The up smashes landed, and I was still like, where the hell's Nikita? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah this guy was telling me about that setup actually yesterday when we were in the hotel room. He's like, yeah, I, told, I stole this from Salem. It, you're, it's literally like a true block string. You're forced to do something when the Nikita's falling, and you have to deal with the two, uh, yeah. the two up smashes. And it paid out in stride for Scat right here. A little bit down in percent, but definitely not out. A single up tilt will do the trick. He could definitely get some more setups by the ledge. He's just got to be careful of ending up off stage and getting edge guarded. And there it is. Oh, he's got jump. He can oh. go super deep, but he's going to weigh out the cypher. Yeah, C4 is also right there by the ledge, so he's got to be oh, yeah, uh, he play careful around there. Definitely got to be smart here. He's standing really close to it, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was a little bit scared for Nico right there, but he gets the forward air and takes that first game. Nice, nice stuff. I'm wondering if Scat is going to decide to stick to the Snake right now or if he's going to switch. I mean, it, does, it's, it is a best of three, so he's got a little bit of wiggle room. He's definitely going to think about it right now. It was very close, very close down to the wire. But then again, who knows if, like, Nico gets the download, right? In game two, he just absolutely tears his Snake apart. I honestly think... Go for the mix-up. Uh, Nico was struggling a little bit versus MM Leo's Mega Man a few uh, months back. So uh, maybe that's an option for him, but he's staying Snake. I mean, also Lord Dragon is now following. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. 
love you. But yeah, at the same time, like, I would say Snake is a more common character than Mega Man. Mm. Would you agree? Like, yeah, and, yeah. And SoCal a little bit. Yeah. We have a few on the PR. Yeah. And uh, I, I know Nico's, like, he's not amazing at this matchup just yet, but he's gotten a lot of practice in it. But we'll see. Scott's an incredible snake player as well. I can definitely see him trying to figure some things out against Nico and uh, really run his back. He's even playing on the same stage, too, so. Yeah, very interesting. No reason for Nico not to play on the same stage, but at the same time, could benefit to uh, ex explore <laughs> some other options. Yeah, Scott's already starting out much better this game. Huge lead already, only 7%. Basically, that kill percent already to a lot of things from Snake. Yeah, grenade use is looking really good. Oh my god. All right, he went for the setup, tried to get the grenade uh, down throw into the up air. But just a tad too much percent on Nico for him to actually get that. Yeah, the buster's out. Nice. Using that empty hop grab to uh, force oh. him in shield. Oh, that was really good amount of oh. damage for Nico right here in the buster. He made full use of that down throw. Okay, no read. Yeah, he didn't go for down throw F-tilt probably because he sees he's in shield so he wouldn't have gotten the kill otherwise. Yeah. Oh, the deepest of back airs. Nico stealing that stock back. He was behind so much, but he turned it all the way around. All right, and uh, Scat looking for the grab right now. Grab will confirm into the up tilt at this percent. Yeah, once he hits around 160, that's like that's pretty much current. Yep. But Nico doesn't care. Look oh at all this free God. percent he got from Buster. Oh, Art. he's dead. And he yep. caught the landing with the smash art up tilt. That was so much uh, pressure there for Nico. Excellent switch to Shield Monado as well. Didn't take uh, any knockback off of those jobs. Not at all. Whereas Yeto, we're still living. Yeah. He jumped and switched to jump art so that he could get that extra distance at the same time. Yeah, very smart. And Nico recognized where the Nikita was, still playing really safe at the ledge and keeping up all this momentum. But there's a down tilt, finally getting the stock still, though. That thing has so much range. Oh, yeah. And him being low profile from, it, from that move as well is yeah. actually one of the best moves. But wow, he took so much damage. Really from good tool for Snake for sure. Is okay. that F-Tilt going to get the shield port or oh, the shield drop either way? I whoa, whoa, believe. whoa. He really did that. Yeah, I can't believe he <laughs> neutral get up there. Gets a fully charged F smash. He almost. was confident that he wasn't going to get hit, man. Timed it perfectly. He's still got a full stock uh, here. Um, Scat making his way back slowly. Snake is also a very heavy character, yeah, too. So 63% so is not, not yeah, too bad. It's not actually that bad for uh, Scat at all right now. Down throw, he's going to go for the, no, no down throw. Goes for the back throw off stage, set up an edge guard. Nico playing really patiently around the explosion, but it does get caught by that grenade. Where's he going to go? Ooh, okay. Right to the up smash. There it is, 76%. This is like pretty much even game. He gets one Ooh. forward air into the uh, grab. Yeah, but that shield are actually helping Nico to uh, avoid being put in a bad spot. Nice. Buster damage doing so much percent. Where is he going to land? Woo! Oh, my God. That switch to wow. jump art to catch him. Oh, my God. That was so good. That jump was perfect. That was like exactly what you want to do against Snake to keep him in disadvantage and just destroy his recovery. That was beautiful from Nico. Scat looks like he's having a good time either way, man. Lo yeah. Love to see it. Scat's the type of player that like treats everything as a learning experience. Sure, yeah. So he's playing against the top level Shulk probably for the first time, other than Salem. I know Salem also MVG as well. Uh, but yeah, Nico is uh, he's a tough <laughs> nut to crack, man. It's not easy at all to go against this guy. Rated R, Koala, and Electro Sean. Thanks for the follows. The Mega Man's out now. Appreciate it. So uh, yeah, yeah, man, he's down 2-0. This is well exactly try. what I expected well to try. see. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Nico did struggle against MM Leo's Mega Man a few months back at the SoCal Ultimate uh, League for the uh, the championships. Yeah, uh, Leo was actually the person that gave him the most trouble. So uh, maybe a little bit of matchup unfamiliarity for Nico. But I think on paper, Shulk's sword is so good against Mega Man. We'll yeah. see though. Scat, one of the most experienced and best Mega Man players, going all the way back from Smash from Four. Smash Four, man. Yeah, and I mean, he, even though we do have MM Leo, and like you said, he's played MM Leo here, like, it's Scat's a whole different beast. Oh, yeah. Even the Mega Man, just watching them all play I mean, from the round robin, they all have their certain things that they do differently. So playing one Mega Man doesn't necessarily mean they're ready for all of them.
Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, that sword range for Shulk looks like very difficult for Mega Man to contest. Like, he doesn't have the best range. But a uh, great parry there. That's probably the only way he could have punished that back air on Shield. Yeah, it almost seems like it's a little bit um, more difficult to get past, like, pellets than it is to get past, say, grenades against Snake. With, with grenades, it's like they're out there. You know that if you hit it with the hitbox, you're, it's going to explode. But if you delay, if you could jump around it, and it, it's always going to explode at the same time, right? Yeah. Whereas, like, pellets, they just constantly oh. coming at you, and they're going to stop you in yeah, your tracks. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> no such thing as an approach, almost. Got those turn on really strong. Okay, nice. what so, a know, beautiful combo. You, you know, like he just learned that yesterday what? from Peepnut. Dang. That he, that platform down there setup. He took he straight up took that and made it his own here in winners semis. He learned yeah. this technique yesterday and he pulled it off in bracket yeah, against yeah. a top level player. Yeah, yeah. Shout out yep. to Peepnut. But bad recovery there from Scott. It was funny too, because like they're just talking like I remember Scott just saying, like, yo, since they're all here together. We should just use this opportunity to teach each other new tech with Mega Man. Because, like, we all have something that we can teach each other. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. And Mega Man's one of those characters that it has, he has so many routes that it's, like, it provides for so much cre creativity. Exactly. So you got to exchange knowledge at that point. And it's definitely working out right now for Scat. But, uh-oh, this is the worst Woo! spot to be. You don't want to be in this situation with Shulk, but the crash bomb is saving his life a little bit. He, otherwise, he could have gotten, like, ledge grab, Edge, reverse yeah. uh, air slash. Probably get the stock. But now the Buster Arts here, nope, no huge follow-up. Free punish? Ooh, oh, yep. he actually only got the last suit up smash, so he stayed alive just barely. Oh, off stage now? No, he goes low. Nice mix-up on the recovery there. Nico was really scary in that position. Oh, oh nice. Voice of Forest smash. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it goes deep. Yeah, use the added mobility of jump bar to get super deep down there with the drop zone fair. And now Nico looked like he was behind quite a bit. It's already kind of slung this match back in his favor. Yeah. I mean, and that was such a clutch play uh, that he just made with the, the edge guard because he switched to jump Monado immediately run off the stage. Ooh. I mean, you the presence of mind that you have to have at that point is like to make such a split second decision. You're, you you got to have a lot of comfortability and knowledge with your character. Yes. Both of these guys, like, yeah. top representatives of their character going up against each other, too. So go for the down throw. Uh-oh. Where's this guy going to go here? Nope, he gets past him, but uh, now the opportunity is his for an edge guard. He, oh, man, he's not really sure how to respect the range of that sword. Backer seems like his best tool to try to contest it, but he's looking really difficult. Okay, Nico just trying to hold down the center stage right here, knowing that this is his best uh, place to be. He got tossed off the stage. He has jumped, though, so he can retreat a little bit, but he's <laughs> caught by the up air. Phase switch, man. We're just trading spots back and forth here by the ledge. Oh, oh my god, what a timing on the up B to avoid the forward air. Really good stuff for Scott. Opportunity strikes. Has him where he wants him at the ledge a little bit, but no, that forward air, another one. Where's he going to go? Goes high. Oh, oh my god, he avoided Ooh. everything he could, but there's the last part of the F tilt. Dang. Catch the landing. Nico applying so much pressure. The rest of the character has no hitbox.